Hello there. Um, uh, this is a Oblivion tutorial to create custom dialogue for your character in game. Uh, I'll be running through all the basic steps on how to do that. Okay, let's get the show on the road. So, what you're going to need to do first is download the TES construction set from the link in the top right and also download the trial version of Audio Soundforge or Sony uh, Soundforge. <laughs> And um, it's a really great software, but very expensive to buy for just this one thing. So just use a trial. Okay, so um, from start, all programs, accessories, and entertainment. I've already removed it, but under entertainment, you'll see a program called Sound uh, Recorder. Sound Recorder is a useful program that comes with your Windows. Um, you can use it to record anything. It's very basic, doesn't really do much, but it's good for this. So you open it up and hit record down here. When you're done recording what you want to uh, say for your NPC, a little tip here, make sure when you say things, make sure to pronounce the words and really, you know, emphasize the words so, the, um, so it'll really recognize it and it'll generate a good lip file. And I'll explain what that is in a, a little while. So, yeah. Okay. So now that... Uh, when you create your sound, you're going to hit File, Save As, and save it to your desktop. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I already have it saved right here. Um, I have my character saying, hello, friends, you know, how are your adventures in Cyrodiil? Really simple, but it'll work. Next, open up your TES construction set. All right. Now, when you let it load for a second, when you have it open, click Open up here and open your Oblivion ESM master file and hit OK. All right, I'm going to edit this part out and make it load quickly. Okie doke, everything's loaded. So, now what you want to do is create your NPC. So you go to Actors, it's already open um, for me. Hit NPC, right click um, this NPC list and hit New. Um, you'll see ID, name, script, class, all this stuff. All this stuff will be interesting later when you want to toy around with stuff. But for now, we're just focusing on three things. ID, name, and race. First, you're going to set your ID to something like 1 my NPC and set the name to whatever you want it to say in game. I'm going to set mine to Mr. Smuggles. All right, there we go. Then set your race to Breton or f that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. You can set it to whatever you want, but I'm going to set it for Breton and hit OK. Next, what you're going to want to do is hit character up here on this list, character, and go to quests. Next, you're going to want to make a new quest. So right click this um, dialog box here or this area of other quests and hit new. Then you're going to want to create the name of the quest. I'm going to call it, once again this is something you're only going to see um, in the TES construction set. It won't be, this quest won't be um, seen in game. Um, so I'm going to set it to one quest. The reason I have one in front of, um, in front of quest is because the way it categorizes things, if you put one, it'll be at the top of the list for easier finding. So one quest, uh, actually one my quest, and then hit OK. All right, now that you have all these tabs, um, it should be already highlighted, and it should already be open. You're going to hit Topics. Then in this blank box, right-click and hit Add Topic. Then uh, type in, uh, or actually just scroll down, sorry, scroll down till you find G. These are alphabetical order. Scroll down till you find G, uh, a bit higher, and look for greeting in capital letters like this, right here, greeting, capital letters. Hit highlighter or click it and click OK. Next, hit new in this blank box here. OK, so we see response text here. This is basically what your NPC is going to say in game. You're going to see this, not hear it. This is the text to go along, you know, with your voice file. Um, I said, hello, friend. This is what I said in my recording. This is not what you have to type in. Um, hello, friend. How are your adventures in Cyrodo? I don't really know how to spell Cyrodiil, but I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Hopefully. It might be Cyrodiil. No, I, I don't know. Let's hope I spelled that right. Actually, I'm sure I didn't. But 
Okay, so here's the text, which you're going to see along with the voice file. Then you're going to hit OK. Then down here under Conditions, this little blank box, right click and hit New. So you're making a new condition. Then in this box, you're going to set that condition. Set it to, scroll down, Get Is ID. So Get Is ID. There we go. Then click Invalid here. Click it. And it'll open up what you want uh, it to pertain to. You want it to per pertain to one my NPC. So hit OK. Now we have get is ID to one my NPC. Good. You're, you're really close, kind of. <laughs> then you're going to hit OK and save your file. Save it as my, uh, or this is what I'm going to save it as. You can save it as whatever you want, but for the purposes of this tutorial, save it as my my custom NPC 1. Put a 1, so in case you want to have my custom NPC 2 later when you feel like, you know, screwing around with stuff. And hit save. Now, close out of your TES construction set and reopen it. You need to refresh it. So wait for it to close. Okay. Great, we have it closed. Now reopen it. <laughs> okay, now this time when you reopen it, there's going to be a difference in what you're going to do. What you're going to do this time when you reopen it, pardon me, my mic's falling a bit. What you're going to do when you reopen it this time is hit open and open your Oblivion ESM, but also scroll down and you'll f see my custom NPC1. Click it, hit set as active file, and open. There we go. Now I'm going to edit this out, let it open quick. Okay, it's all loaded. As you can see up here, you see the object window and you see under NPCs that NPC you've created right here. What you're going to need to do is hit character and go to quests. Then you see one my quest. This is the quest you created. Go to topics again and wait. Uh, double click under response details. Highlight this, double click it. All right, now you see um, a path down here. If you scroll over, you can see the path goes data, sound, voice, my custom NPC1, ESP, Breton, and then M, and then blah, blah, blah. Hit OK, and actually, uh, sorry, reopen it. What you want to do is follow that. So go to my computer, uh, whatever your main hard drive is that has Oblivion on it, then go to Program Files, then go to Bethesda Softworks, then hit Oblivion, Data, Okay, now it says data, sound, voice, so sound, voice, my custom NPC. Now, um, it doesn't have that created yet, so you need to create the folder for them. So go to folder, new folder, and go make sure to follow all um, any capitalizations you made. So my custom NPC1 dot ESP. Make sure to capitalize anything you capitalized or if it has anything capitalized in here, capitalize it. Then create another folder called Breton or whatever race you used. In this case it's Breton as you can see down here and open that up and create a folder called M. Capital M for male. If it's a female um, character make it F for female. Then what we're gonna want to do is um, Minimize everything. Hit OK. Minimize. Minimize. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial um, and it being on YouTube, I need to shorten everything to 10 minutes or lower. So I'm going to make multiple videos, of course. So I'm going to cut this one off here, but in the next video, I'll continue it and we'll be one step close to having your own NPC. Hurrah!